What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a good day. Folks, we're going to have a look at a Perseverance photo from Sol 52. Now, you've seen this photo before, but this is a different angle and different perspective. What I love about it is some of the things we've seen up close in prior photos of the same area are now way in the background, but they don't seem to cover up these anomalies quite as good as they would do in the prior photos, right? Let's just jump right into it and you'll see what I'm talking about. Here is a photo right here. You can see Mars Perseverance Sol 52, left navigation camera or nav cam. And you can see the description below this photo. It says, this photo was selected by public vote and featured as image of the week for week nine, April 11th through April 17th, 2021 of the Perseverance rover mission on Mars. NASA's Mars Perseverance rover acquired this image using its onboard left navigation cam or nav cam. The camera is located high on the rover's mask and aids in driving. This image was acquired on April 13, 2021, Sol 52 at a local mean solar time of 1313 or 113 p.m., right? Image credit goes to NASA, JPL, Caltech. And folks, you can always download it up here. It is a 1296 by 976, and it is a PNG, but download it here, and there you go. Now let's just jump right into Photoshop and have a closer look. You can see it right here. Now, folks, the cool thing about this is that we have a couple reference points. One, you can see the rover tracks right here. Two, in the middle of the photo, we have the Ingenuity helicopter. Although I'm not sure if this is real or not, or well, it's been digitized in, as you can see. Now, don't get me wrong, the photo is really zoomed in, so you're gonna see this kind of weirdness going on. So let's make this much bigger and get this crappy color off. Okay. And even then, folks, look at the background looks okay, even though it's not exactly clear, but then look at the helicopter itself. That's kind of weird. Although, if you look at the rock to the right of it, it has this kind of weirdness too. But the whole Don helicopter looks that way. Hmm. Makes you question, right? All right. So what we're going to look at is this area in the left where this supposed mountain is. And folks, I've always said this. This is not a mountain. Never has been. I believe it's a structure or part of a structure. But there's so much more here, folks. When I was looking at this, I could see this like areas like this here, right? Got something small, appears to be sticking out of it, right there. We also have these pieces dangling down or coming down off the edge of this. That makes no darn sense. Look at this, another one here. What are these objects that are hanging off this? See them? Right here, just below this edge. See that? What could those possibly be? We also have these other parts here that almost look like bent pipes, and you'll see this a whole lot more because I'm gonna go right to the actual enhanced photo in a moment. Now, notice up here there are some lines. Yeah, folks, there's much, much more in this photo. This thing is incredible when you see it. That line's right here. Almost looks like there's a break in it right there. There's another piece here and another piece here. Now. I'm looking at this, I'm going, what about all these little lines and stuff we're seeing down here and, and in here? There's a small area right here. You'll see this is actually has a cutout and it's much lighter. And then you got these two dots right here. We got other pieces down here. Down here. But what's interesting is the pieces in the foreground. Just this alone. Check this out. Small pieces. But here's the question. Is there more to it? I say much more. So let's get into the fully enhanced photo and have a better look. Okay. Now, bring out all the lines, folks. And what is going on here? You can see these pieces I was just saying earlier. This is more of a rounded piece instead of a pointed piece. You can see how this thing has a shape going up like this. We have these weird squares. Here's that object or area I was telling you about. Had to just one, two, and then it was two more down here. We have these pieces up in here. Look at the white areas, right? It appears to look like this here. 
Like it's lighter going like, you see a straight line, you get something sticking out right here. Whoa, check this out, look at this. And goes back up in here. There's something right here. Almost looks like it has a shadow to it. What are we looking at here? We have pieces, like I said earlier. These popped out later on. And you can see these straight lines. Funny enough, when you look at the side here, what is going on here? The reason why you have this is I decided to burn over this, whatever this is, right? See the angle right here? I can see what looks like lines. This background is not a background at all. Look real carefully. You can see what looks like the bend to this piece right here. See that? That is weird. Another piece right here. This square piece here. If we were to go back to the original, I can still see that square. See that right there? And you got something that looks, appears to be sticking out of the center. See that? You've got this piece right here. You got circle, circle, outline here. Of course, I'm doing this really quickly so it doesn't really look good, but you guys get the idea. Here it is. And again, I looked at this here and I said, why does this look like it's doing this? Like it's sticking out of, sticking out of this piece. And I thought maybe it's the corner of this supposed, well, they're going to say it's a butte, but to me, this is a structure. And yet you can see another one doing this as well. And I'm going, hmm, well, check that out. Is it possible there's something else on the side of this? Now, even if we were to dismiss that, there's way too many pieces in here to believe that this is natural. Okay. Back out. Folks, look at the stuff laying around on the ground. Now, let's back way out. And you can see these weird shapes on the ground. Check this out. Pause it right here and have a closer look. You can see lines like this here. If we look right here, very faint, you can see some of these lines. I can see it right here. Straight line. Looks like it actually does this right here. Comes around. There you go. See it right here. Comes down. Well, it's actually narrower than that, but you get the idea. And comes around. Folks, even if we didn't do any of this photo, that sure in heck doesn't look natural at all. Some of these other pieces in here don't look natural. Like I said, we get these other what look like dots and kind of weird stuff here on, the, on this little mound. But again, enhance around this and you get these pieces standing out. See that? You can see this piece right here. Right there, see it? These lines are in fact here, this. This one on the left. It's right here, folks. And you see the faint line right here. See that? What's amazing about a lot of these photos is that they'll try to take anything they can out of it. Here's a perfect example. Let's look at this rock it's right here. Right here in the photo. But there's more to it. You can see these areas where they put this manipulation. And it's usually under these objects. Why? So you don't see if the object's even bigger. But even if you don't see it bigger, there's always something around it, like a platform or some kind of weird thing going on, right? These areas right here. Not sure what to make of this. It's coming down. It's going across. See that? You can see that right here. See that one right there? You can see the other line that does this right here. Watch this. Right there. We'll go back and forth. It's right there, folks. This is what I'm saying. These lines are, in fact, there. The good thing about it is, like I said, we get some kind of idea just what is here, right? We can see the wheel marks from the rover. Okay. Right there, we can see the lines to them. They seem to cut off right here, roughly. Okay, you don't seem to see the tracks going any further than that. Wonder why. And folks, by the way, this is part one of two. We're gonna get into the rest of this photo and see what else is in here. 
But there you go, right there, check this out. Is that really a rock or a butte that's been decayed over a course of time? Or is it much more than that? And folks, again, just look at the pieces hanging off this thing, off the edge of this. They're in the photo, there's no doubt. And again, that weird shaped piece here, check that out. It's right there. See that? Have a look. It's, it's there, it's in the photo. The other funny thing is too, is if you look at this, it looks like it may be off in the distance, but it's really not. When you enhance it, it looks like it's right here. Like there's a bunch of stuff laying all over the ground, perhaps maybe from this object on the left, which I believe to be a structure in my opinion. And by the way, folks, check this out. If you look carefully, you got this edge right here, right? The very top edge, it's actually casting a shadow right here on this lower piece. Do you see that shadow right there? It's literally casting a shadow from this piece down underneath it onto the lower piece. Right there, you can see the shadow. There you go. And like I said, folks, this is the first pot to be the second pot coming up, so stay tuned for that. That's going to be the next video. There you go. Folks, like I said, I love the idea that this so-called butte is off in the background. And a lot of times, they don't really take the time out to really take everything out of that photo. Now, they did a good job, of course, but you can see a lot of these lines were able to be pulled out. That's the cool part. And when we do the second part, you're going to see much more to this. And we're going to have the whole picture and get a better look at what they're really looking at. And if you notice again, the Ingenuity helicopter is between the background and the foreground, but it's away from the background area where a lot of this stuff is. Hmm, coincidental? Clearly they didn't want to land it inside all of that stuff, so they had to move it or land it where they needed it to be, right? So, as I said before, this helicopter is not up there to aid the perseverance in driving. Come on. It was there to fly up and above and around these objects and these anomalies so they can have a better look, whether it be 3D or just simple different angles. It's as simple as that. As always, folks, drop your comments down below. I want to hear what you got to say. And don't forget to like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And, folks, like I said, this is the first part. The second part is coming out next, so stay tuned for that. As always, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.